physically and mentally, it, just getting back to normal life, it was so hard because during the day, all you talked about was Survivor. And then at night, all you would dream about a Survivor. So you were never really relaxed because you're dreaming about the game at night and then talking about the game during the day and you couldn't escape it. You'd leave the house, people come up to you, you know, asking you questions. It was just, it was impossible to escape or think about anything else. And so I'd say it took like a year or so for that to die down and for it not to be the only thing going on in my life. She's a tougher little girl than I made her out to be. I know when I tried out for Australia, I was hoping I was just putting off a job for about six months or so. And little did I know three years later, um, I haven't really had a steady job since. I didn't, I've been doing commercials. Um, I was a spokesperson for a travel company. Um, I've been traveling around, meeting new people. I mean, I'm living the dream life. It's been amazing and I'd love to keep going with it. This is how much rice we have left to last us 14 days. This is probably enough for one serving. Starvation was definitely the hardest part about being on, on the show. And also I think uh, like loneliness, even though you're with these people 24 seven for how long, um, you're never really completely opening up to each other because you have to hold back some things, you know, you just, you're lying to each other and you, you don't want to trust each other. Who do you think, you want to make an alliance? <laughs> Cover our own asses? I don't know if I can take you seriously or not. I'm being 100% serious. So I think this time around, it'll be more comforting, the fact that at least we do know each other now. We are taking huge risk that you have gone back in time. No, oh no, yeah. trust me. I'd much rather go in with you guys. But yeah. I just, and I felt that you guys would hopefully want to yes. go with us. Yes, no, we do. You'd be an idiot to turn this down. You have a one in 16, well, who knows how many people are out here, but first time it was a one in 16 chance to win a million dollars. And your chances are never gonna be better for winning a million bucks. Plus, it's an amazing adventure. We're in the middle of a beautiful place and uh, it's a no-brainer. I would never even think about not coming back. Yeah, we've had bad days, we have our lows, but we have so many more highs. My strategy in the Outback was to make no enemies because as soon as you make an enemy, it's a reason to vote you off. Um, and I think it's a pretty good strategy. You know, um, I'm gonna use that a little bit in this one, but I'm just gonna be more intense. I'm gonna use different things to my advantage. I think I'm pretty well liked among everybody and even the guys, you know, I've learned that a lot of guys think I'm a good looking person, so I'm gonna flirt with them and get ahead. Amber and I have been flirting with each other since we got out here. We have an alliance together. She probably thinks she's playing me. I probably think I'm playing her. Who knows how it's gonna turn out. And uh, hopefully I'll be well liked among all the women. Just get far. I'm out here to play the game survivor. I'm not out here to play a dating game. Former friendships and former alliances are definitely gonna come into play. And the thing is, though, people are going to be suspicious of those things. So that's why it's going to be so much harder. You know, you don't know if you should make an alliance with somebody who's least expected or somebody who is expected because other people won't think that you're going to do it. I mean, it's just, it's going to be a crazy intense game. And uh, it's going to be much harder, I think. Our tribe is, uh, we're hurting pretty bad. I would say the smartest player yet has probably been Rob Sosanino. He's, I think he knows this game inside and out. Him and Richard Hatch, I think, are the best two players in this game so far. You and me, Rob and Rob will be on our side. So I'll vote out Rob's I am extremely worried about all the twists that Mark Burnett has up his sleeve. I mean, I know he's thinking that we're all out of here and thinking, oh, we've done this before, it'll be easy this time. And he is going to pull something out and we're gonna be shocked. We're gonna be shocked. So you gotta expect the unexpected for sure.